A few years ago, I fell in love with a game that lined up with all the other games I was deeply invested in at the time. I was obsessed with the Soul series, and Remnant from the Ashes came out with a tagline that I still remember people saying to this day. It's like Dark Souls, but with guns. And with that, I was already intrigued. I was determined to find out more about the game and how much inspiration it would borrow from the Soul series. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that this game had its own unique spin on the Souls-like genre. To preface all this, I want to explain what I believe a true Souls-like experience should consist of. Firstly, it should have challenging gameplay, whether it be from the difficulty of your enemies, intricate boss battles, or even punishing consequences for making a mistake. All of these add up to the experience, and overcoming those difficult hurdles should give you a sense of achievement. Next, I would say that the exploration and interconnected world are what make up some of the most unique moments in a Souls-like experience. Having environments that encourage discovery, and rewarding attentive players for leaving no stone unturned, is something I love about these games. Finding hidden paths, shortcuts, or even secrets can give the player this sense of wonder of how vast the world can truly feel. One thing I also love about the Souls-like genre is its dynamic combat system. Souls-like games usually have a combat system that requires precise timing, strategic thinking, and patience. The player normally has to worry about stamina management, dodging, blocking, and learning enemy attack patterns. And when this is executed well, the game creates a beautiful choreography between the player, the enemies, and the environment. To anyone who's ever played a Souls game before, you already know that death is a fundamental part of a Souls-like game. When a player dies, they lose their in-game currency and respawn at their last known checkpoint. However, this also has another element to it. Upon death, you reset the world's progression, meaning enemies respawn with you. Not only can this mechanic prepare you for what to expect, but it creates a lot of opportunities to learn from the mistakes that you've made along the way. Souls-like games have deep and cryptic lore that is usually presented subtly, requiring players to piece together the narrative through item descriptions, environmental storytelling, and conversations with non-playable characters. And lastly, many Souls-like games include online multiplayer elements such as cooperative play where players can join forces to overcome a challenge together, or PvP encounters where players can engage in duels or invade each other's worlds. So did Remnant from the Ashes have all the inner makings to make a Souls-like? Yes, 100% yes. And it stands out on its own because the game has its own identity. Remnant Boiled Down is also a looter and a co-op shooter. Its setting places you in the middle of a post-apocalyptic world overrun by monsters and otherworldly creatures. It offers more than just a campaign as well. You can tackle adventure mode and explore the realms that the game has to offer, or you can play survival mode, which changes your game into a roguelike experience having you choose a randomized assortment of gear to progress. Overall, Remnant has shaped up to be one of my favorite Souls-like games to come out in recent years. Its build diversity adds depth to the game's replayability, and always keeps me coming back for more. I'm extremely excited because Remnant 2 is releasing next month, and I'm very excited to see a familiar set of bones on that game. I think the character customization and the freedom to choose what you enjoy most about your playstyle is important for keeping the players engaged. Not to mention, adding multi-classing to the mix is going to make this game stand out for both solo and co-op players. Gunfire Games has crafted something special in the Souls-like genre. They've molded something that feels both fun and different. Just like the Souls series, these games aren't for everyone, but I do always recommend trying something at least once. And I'm hoping that a lot of new players give Remnant 2 a chance. To me, this game is more than just a Dark Souls with guns game, it has a rewarding gameplay loop that can provide anyone with a great amount of replayability. I can't wait to get my hands on Remnant 2, as I'm sure I'm probably going to make a video on it when it releases, but for now, I'm just going to start up another survival run just to see how far I can get. My name is Zen, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya.